This video is brought to you by Stockagogo.com Stock Photos. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Friday, November 22nd. Welcome to the Tune Pipe. Fred Bernard and Little Abner here until 3 o'clock. It uh, would appear to be another one of those gray and overcast days with some rain falling around the tri-state area. Cloudy skies to continue with the showers off and on again, that type of day. Be a little windy this afternoon, too, with highs in the upper 60s. While we're at it, we'll get right to the forecast. Present temperature is 58 here in Cincinnati, and the relative humidity at 85%. Uh, Indianapolis has rain in 58. Dayton has rain, 65 there. Columbus, 65. Louisville, 68. Lexington, 69. Huntington, 69 degrees, and they're all reporting cloudy skies. Leading edge of the rain is showing on the radar from near Toledo to Dayton to Andersonville, Indiana. To mid midway between Louisville and Evansville. Now you have it all in your mind. This place is the eastern edge, about 40 miles west of Cincinnati. The rain is spreading eastward, 15 to 20 miles an hour. We may have a few sprinkles in advance of the main rain area, which falls mainly on the plain, but that's next week. This week, Little Abner, and we'll be in dog patch momentarily. WLW is the only station permitted by the Federal Communications Commission to broadcast on 700 kilocycles in this country by international agreement. It's the responsibility of WLW to provide service to many thousands of people who live either in rural communities or on farms or in towns not large enough to support its own local radio station. For many years now, WLW has attempted to meet its responsibilities and obligations to provide this service. Its management, farm department, and staff earnestly solicit your suggestions as to how our service might be improved, either in the field of entertainment, news, or information that's important to you. Your comments and suggestions will certainly be appreciated. They'll receive the careful and thoughtful consideration of all of us here at the nation's station. We ask that you address them to Steve Crane, General Manager, WLW in Cincinnati, Ohio. Now to Dog Patch USA, and before we get the proceedings underway, we'll have to stand by here just a moment. There may be something happening. Yes, there is. There's a bulletin just handed me from Dallas, Texas. An unknown sniper fired three shots at President Kennedy. This is uh, in connection with President Kennedy, who is now touring Texas, as you know. Uh, I'll tell you exactly how this reads. Dallas, an unknown sniper fired three shots at, and then there are five letters, P-M-O-U-X, then a flash... Kennedy's name is misspelled. Flash again, and at the bottom of this headline it says, Kennedy seriously wounded. We will, of course, be awaiting further details on this story, so please stand by. This report just in from Dallas, Texas, an unknown sniper firing three shots, evidently, at the presidential party while they were touring Texas. At the bottom of this it says, Mr. Kennedy has been seriously wounded. We will, of course bring you details as they are received. And in the meantime, we'll go to Dog Patch. This is the overture to Little Abner, Lehman Engel and Orchestra. Here is a bulletin from the WLW Comex newsroom. A late bulletin from Dallas, where three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade today in downtown Dallas. No casualties reported at first. However, the latest flash indicates uh, President Kennedy was seriously wounded, perhaps fatally, by an assassin's bullet. Now, that's all the information we have. A bulletin, a sniper, apparently seriously wounded President Kennedy in downtown Dallas today, perhaps fatally. We'll keep you posted as the news comes into the WLW newsroom.
Here's another bulletin from Dallas. The latest report says President Kennedy and Governor Connolly of Texas were cut down by an assassin's bullets while they toured downtown Dallas in an open order today. Clint Hill, a Secret Service agent assigned to Mrs. Kennedy, said he's dead as the president was lifted from the rear of a White House touring car and rushed to an emergency room in the hospital. The president, his limp body cradled in the arms of his wife, was rushed to the hospital where the governor of Texas also was taken. That is the latest information on the either assassination attempt or assassination of President Kennedy in Dallas, Texas, this afternoon. We'll keep you informed as the latest bulletins arrive in the Comics newsroom.